This is the little happy tree. Can you see the happy tree? <laughs> that white on white. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna paint a nice little happy tree here. Just, just a happy tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. self-explanatory easy process you just uh, find your location on your on your hood or underneath the hood I should say on your cross port here and I went with the factory uh, got a little bumper location so take that out put your uh, rod in and they give you a new bumper to slip over that so you'll still retain your bumper and then but it'll be a, a lockable system so Sweet. Pretty, pretty clean cut. This buzz saw, I really recommend using a buzz saw whenever you're cutting on a, a sort of automotive body so it doesn't look haggard. It's really precise. Are you gonna cut all the way through? Yeah, so I did this just with a carbon hood. Uh, if you're cutting through two layers of carbon, it really likes to grab the blade and it, I didn't want it to jerk and like put damage the hood out here in somewhere that I can't necessarily fix it. So uh, when you're cutting on a carbon, I try to cut through one layer at a time. That way it doesn't grab the saw and make me mess up. Now that I can see where I'm cutting, it'll be a lot easier to cut through one, one layer, of the bottom layer, uh, to give me clearance to put the hardware on the back side. This goes on the back in between the two layers, so that's why I have to do a lot of clearance. Sweet. They're pretty sweet. Uh, help your carbon hood from flopping at highway speeds and everything like that. It just really secures that hood down. What's up everyone? I'm about to go head out and pick up a 675LT McLaren. I don't like that, it's just McLaren first. That's all right. What's up everyone? I'm about to head out and go pick up a McLaren 675LT. It's a really big project. It's exciting. We got a lot in store coming for it. Uh, for confidentiality of the client, we're not going to film picking it up, but you'll see as soon as I get back. Hey, he's got the power stance going too. Dakota, he said he'd be here like, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 minutes ago now? He said he'd be here like 14 minutes ago. Do we have a, uh, how much time do you think it's gonna take? How much time do you think we have? I don't know, but if I slip one more damn time in this garage, I'm quitting. <laughs> Tire You're right, there. I don't. I've got freaking sandals on because my feet are messed up. World of OSHA violations. And the world of OSHA violations. <laughs> Way to go! You didn't tell us. We were over there for we 15 were minutes. Waiting for you. I said, are you here? How did you guys hear us moving it around? I said I heard him and I was like, oh, maybe it was somebody else. You couldn't hear it over there. Do we go? Well, it's here. You know, I'll one thing I'll ask for so you know. Chris, what are we doing? Uh, trying to get this rear bottle open. Well, I said these are a little different. So, 
What are you doing, Heidi? Why is your hair up like that? Like you're gonna do something. Because I'm probably gonna do something. You're ready to catch these hands. Yeah. Right, as you can see, we got this beautiful 675 LT back on this rainy day. It's a beautiful silver color. We're breaking it down, getting the ECU out. So we can get it over to Dino Spectrum, get it tuned perfectly, and get the backside broken down for the downpipes that we're installing from Red Star Auto. Where? Where is it? What the fuck? Where is it? The liar? Oh, yeah, that's where my hand went. Alright, one, two, three, four, eights. And eight mil. Some full neck doors. It's gonna look like a whole new wall. We're just gonna paint a nice little happy tree. This is a little happy tree. Can you see the happy tree? <laughs> that light on light? <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna paint a nice little happy tree here. Just, just a happy tree. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Right there. Mm. All right, now everybody, what did Golden say? You just like, gotta drop two of them? Yeah, you gotta drop two. Everyone needs a friend. But you're oh. just taking it, you gotta order it. Am I, am I doing it to <laughs> Go, Give it back to Kirsten. Mm -hmm. What? I feel like you, this is, I don't know. I don't know. Hot plate? Hot plate? It's like an organ donation. Put it in the cooler and you gotta go. Go. FedEx. You got 20 minutes. I know you're talking about it. Oh, this is an ECU. This ECU is going to go to Dino Spectrum. This ECU is going to produce more power. Go. Now, please, FedEx overnight. Here's the address. What's up, Mago? Mago's coming to deliver. So you don't need it. You just need it like this. You don't want me to. No, you need to take it to. Yeah. Well, I was going to take it. I'll put it in a box. But with, don't wrap it up, put packaging in there and stuff, but see if they have a static free bag at FedEx so you can buy and put it in before you buy it. So put it in a box. So put it in a box with the packaging yes. stuff to, to keep it soft, but, but don't tape it. Okay. Take your tape with you. And then when you get there, be like, do you have any static free bags? And if they do, put that inside the static free bag, put it in the box and ship it. If they don't, we'll be okay. <laughs>